I see trouble from afar. Old Rex and his. You guys will recognize the breaker box I got put in my. Yeah, they were like an 80s hairband. Yes. Look at how packed y'all are today. Are you scaring everybody off, Bob? Oh, wow. What's that going on here? At your house. Yeah. I pulled this out of my house. That's did you, my personal unit. Well, did you see where uh, Rhapsody's using that? Are they? In there? Yeah, well, yes, yes, yes. yes. Two, two of them, two of them yeah. Two KVAs. That's <coughs> insane, like, huh? Yeah, I'm really yeah. impressed with what he had for his electrical. And then this is similar to what I have, but, um, but I have the outlets all here. Mm -hmm. Built in, same core. Same core. All copper, quarter copper. inch thick bus. Tony was very impressed. He's like your OCD to the max. Mm -hmm. But yeah, copper, no aluminum. And then it was what, a f five gauge wire that w ran up to this in my house? I think we ran a six for years. Okay. Could have been a four. Yeah. I'd have to double check. But yeah. It was either, I thought it was either four or five, but it's yeah. Four. It's yeah. a four. Yeah. Okay. It's a four we ran up to there. And I think the immediate benefit I noticed was the. Uh, did I tell him a two? Did you tell him two? A two would have been a full hundred amps. No, it was 75 amp with breaker that we, we got. So, yeah. We ran a four. Yeah. So, yeah, just having that extra unimpeded power for amps. I run a home theater there. I got lots of amps plus subs. Uh, even with the one dedicated 20 amp and a few 15 amps, it really wasn't ideal. This brought the power to my room. The immediate payoff was in bass, the suddenness of the bass. Um, yeah, it's just something I should have done long ago. And something people overlook. They all want to spend money outside, on the one side of the outlet, not the, you know, the part that actually can make a, even a bigger difference. Yeah, this would be an easy A-B test for most people if they installed this. And as long as they're using a lot of power, which a lot of audiophiles nowadays are using quite a bit of power. And then if you have anything with noise, we didn't really have that in my house, but an isolation transformer, be on the safe side. What does this run about? These are like in the nine, ten thousand or more. No, that one's not that much. A wall mount. Let me see. A wall mount. This is a forty-five. It can come with three AFCI breakers in it, so I can get six duplexes out to your room out of this one piece. But list price on it with AFCIs would be seven thousand five hundred. With just a thermal mag, which isn't really legal in your house, the list price is seven thousand. Okay. But you need an AFC option. Now, depending on if you use Furitech outlets, that could pretty much pump up the price pretty quick. Your thing is a little different because you have the duplexes yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah. This... That would be at back right near the breaker. Yeah, this just has... This one sits on your wall somewhere. Like, I want to put this in your garage right below yeah. your room and feed the one output out of this one, which is a 50 amp out up into your unit and feed everything globally in it okay otherwise you're into one like this it's called a rack mount where you've got your duplexes built right into it right and so then, it's almost like a balanced power conditioner but this is just an isolation transformer yes it's an isolation transformer but it is balanced on the primary side so you've got 240 that can come into it and send a single 120 out the back okay interesting this one's 120 only but you can get it configured either way and then, kind of like what I did with Tony with your guys, I go through and I'll send pictures like this. I think, take pictures of your gear, and I put a bunch of notes together, and I go, reconfigure your stuff like that, put corrosion protection on here. Just there's a lot of stuff to do to get the appropriate power to one of these transformers. Because right. if you don't give it the appropriate power, you kind of starve it. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is actually, um, Rex is in, my WhatsApp group, the membership section, he's good to, uh, if that's one quick plug for being in there, you can talk to him. Now, you may regret talking to him, you know. <laughs> it's probably 50-50, but <laughs> no. <laughs> <if> you... <laughs> and Bob is in there, too. Bob is stepping it up with hats, outfit. Where's your money shirt? Yeah, where's your money shirt? I got the responsibility speech to speak. Oh, wow. So he wow. He said, absolutely do not wear that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now, are you still having a thing at your house tonight? Yes. Okay. Yep. Charles is bringing some... And Bisson he's bringing. Yeah. So you're going to have 
celebrity there besides me. <laughs> been, I'm excited. Wait till you see what late. I. I was up late last night preparing a paella, so. Oh wow. And everything last night. Now is there a dress code that I have to worry about? Anything that my dog won't ruin. Oh wow! Hair. I gotta worry about the dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do want to say one thing. Like at my house, we already have the panel in. Oh yeah. We have the grain oriented wire. Uh huh. And I'm actually just using the RM20. Okay. And we we sat there and went back and forth. And I was thinking, gosh, we're not going to hear anything. The power is already just about as good as it can be. We have that into the Krell KSA 250, and it was just stark difference. And we were trying so not to... So even the amp into the transformer. Yep. What? Honestly, these are op the optimum power supply you can put on an amplifier. Really, they shine with amps. Whereas so many other conditioners, people will call them, will kind of close it down and pull it back in. This isn't right. really a power conditioner. It's just an isolation transformer. This sound will open up. Right. It will get bigger. It will get more dynamic. Yeah, it, that's it, the key. Tighter. You'll hear bass rolls on drums and stuff like that, more defined and clear. It's it's great for that. And then it's kind of oversized it, to have the headroom and stuff for your amps. So that means it's got plenty of power to run your front end. So just put it all into it. Right. That's kind of the way. Well, that also the type of transformer matters. And when I see Plytrons, yeah. you know, this is as good as it gets. Um, people cheap out with Chinese ones and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not the same. So, yeah, uh, there's very few things I tell people to plug their amps into other than the wall. Yeah. Um, but uh, now I haven't tried this yet. I used to have balanced power Plytrons mm -hmm. uh, that could do it. But now this would probably be the only thing I would put in series with it going forward to try. We went back and forth what, probably eight times with the Krell app because we weren't expecting such the dramatic difference and we were and then like looking at each other going what are you hearing mm -hmm. and it was just like it made that's where we had the biggest impact which we weren't expecting it was a isolation transform this is literally off my wall out of my garage so unfortunately tonight when we play <laughs> my system won't be at his be, best it'll, it'll suck okay but he I already think, built in an excuse I'm why it sucks like, I, I heard, <laughs> yeah, I did the distortion. Yeah, and we might as well just play Cardi B tonight. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. gonna suck. He built him the yeah. Alexa, play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it screwed up his Alexa all this time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, you know, Rex, you can bring this back to your house. Yeah. <laughs> you got Bob here to help carry. Oh, Actually, here we I go. am probably going to just bring this. Bring this, yeah. yeah. That'd we be cool. We literally took that off the wall yesterday. Okay. Like, that thing is heavy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, cool. Well, I'll have some more footage of tonight, maybe, if it's allowed. In the... <laughs> it's footage. Huh? Play my stereo. We'll play it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Are the Pure Audio Project guys here, you know? I haven't seen him yet. I have to look at him Okay. I was going to go wander out and leave Bob in charge of things for a while. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> now is not the time to come to the booth, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All of this will probably be stolen, in fact. <laughs> All right. I'll have more footage later tonight. <laughs>